Hey everyone, this is Scott Volker, and I want to thank you first for stopping by and checking out this video. And I'm going to try to show you something real quick that you can do immediately, whether you purchase one of our digital backgrounds or not. It's something that you can use immediately. It's real, real simple. Before I do, though, I want to talk about our mystical set and why this is so powerful being able to use digital backgrounds and digital props in your photography. Now, let me just go over that this background right here was an actual background that we had created by an artist and she painted that and you can see back here you might not be able to see it that well in the video but this is like a little castle a little castle a big castle off in the distance and it's just like you know it's a nice warm sky we have the the uh, the greenery coming in over here and then we have a wall in front now if you've watched any of my other videos you've seen other walls that we've incorporated these walls, usually, if you were to purchase these in a physical form, would cost you thousands of dollars, upwards of three, four thousand um, dollars. We're including these because we know how powerful it is, and it's very expensive to purchase them. But let me just talk about this here: the hand-painted backgrounds, because it's so important. You can go out and buy these right now for upwards of a thousand dollars. You can get them as little as four or five hundred dollars. I'm going to show you one right now at uh, Denny's Manufacturing. And I go back to them because they do have some really nice stuff. It's a little pricey, but it is good stuff. And you, if you look down here, I'll pull this up real quick. If you look down here, you can see that this one here is a 10 by 12, and it's $668. It's going to ship on a truck. Um, they have all different sizes. Their smallest one is a 5 by 6, which is $184. Their uh, one down here is a 10 by 18, that's $957. Now. I'm showing you that just because I want you to see the value of this. And if you were to go out and purchase these, number one, you'd have to store them. Number two, um, you got to invest the money in them. And to be honest with you, you will get your money back. Um, but a lot of photographers don't have that kind of money to keep putting out um, for, for different themes that they want to offer. I've got one more quick example for you, and that's another background right here of a hand-painted that they have. And this one starts at $499. So I just wanted to bring these in to show you that these are really expensive. If you get good ones, you can get some that are airbrushed and they're, they're not that great. These ones here are pretty good. Um, they're soft and subtle, but they're, they're really nice. But anyway, that's Denny's Manufacturing. If you want some real backgrounds, some real painted ones, yeah, go on over to Denny Manufacturing and uh, knock yourself out. I mean, here's a little plug for Denny's. Um, you know, they're, uh, they're a great company. But this is about our digital backgrounds and our digital props that we offer. And this is one of them. This is the mystical set. And this image right here, or this, uh, this little girl, who happens to be my daughter, was cut out off of a white background. We uh, positioned her in here so it looked like she was sitting on the wall. We put a little drop shadow down by her feet. And um, it looks like she was on that wall looking at her little globe there. Now, what I want to show you is something really cool that we can do to the globe to bring it bring it to life a little bit more, show you the focuses right here, um, and it's real, real simple. So what I'm going to do is go up here to my filter, and basically it's just a background layer, so I've already flattened it and everything, there's no separate layers. But let me just go ahead and show you what I'm going to do. I go to Filter, and then I go to Render, and I go to Lens Flare. And once I go to Lens Flare, you can see in this little dialog box, I can position this anywhere I want. I can create the brightness to be as, as bright as I want. And I can bring it way out like that. Here, I'll show you. Let me just open that up like that. Okay, and you can see that's way too much, right? And we got all these other things. I'm going to show you how to get rid of them too. But let's just go back and let's go back in there and hit Render and then Lens Flare and bring this dialog box into the picture and then I'm just gonna bring it down to around 50 I think I had it at 50 some percent 54 55 and positioned it I positioned it right there over top of the globe and then we're just gonna go ahead and hit OK now we have a nice glowing uh, ball okay that she's looking at so it's really tying into the fairy tale portrait look right this is the mystical set and uh, it really gives it that fairy tale look. Now, maybe you don't want these in the picture. We're going to get rid of them. Just go over here to your history brush. That's all you really have to do is go to the history brush, hold it down, make sure you're on history brush, not art history brush, and make sure your brush size is, you know, big enough. Um, I've got it at 200%. My opacity, I had at 25. Let's bump that all the way up because we want to erase everything. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just start going over top of the picture where I don't want that stuff to be in it. And I just want to keep the glow. 
That's all I really want to do. And that's all I'm doing. I'm just going over to some racing that on the history. I'm just going back in time more or less. But I'm leaving that glow. Now, if you want that glow to be toned down a little bit, just go up here to your, your opacity, dial it down. I'm going 25%. Make sure it's large enough over top of it. Excuse the bullseye. The bullseye is there to show you where my mouse is going all the time. And then I just go ahead and I can click on it once and just douse it down a little bit. And that's pretty much it. That looks pretty good. So let me bring that up to you real close so you can see what we got here. Let me bring this into view if I can. Yeah, look. So now we have her looking down at the globe. Looks like a fairy tale picture. You can have a lot of fun with that in any picture that you're doing. It doesn't have to be one that you purchase from us. Obviously, we would love for you to purchase one of our digital creations because we are very proud of them, and I know it can save you a lot of money. They're very, very affordable, and you can use these over and over again, and that's the nice thing about digital. And these are high quality, and what I mean by that is these were hand-painted by an artist that we know that paints all of our backgrounds, and we pay upwards of $800 to $1,000 for our our hand painted backgrounds and um, this is this is one of them and um, we're gonna go ahead and sell it digitally and uh, at a huge reduced um, price for what you would pay for it so that's that the last thing I want to share with you real quick is what you'll get you're gonna get that version which is a horizontal you're gonna get that version which is a vertical and these are all in 8x10 constraints at 300 dpi and then the other cool thing I'm gonna do is give you the wall separate so you can just insert new backgrounds or digital backgrounds if you want to and that way you can keep using this wall over and over again so I did that for you too so you're gonna get all three of those files that's what you're basically getting with our mystical set so that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you got a lot out of it, the tutorial I just did with you. It's real simple to do that, to add this little glowing effect. And um, I think your customers are really going to like that, and it's real simple to do. So thanks for stopping by, and I'll talk to you soon.